In this video, we're going to take a look at using layer sets to control your dimension size and your text size and color. If you find yourself needing different size of layouts, maybe you use a 36 by 24 in some cases, and then you need to half scale that at 18 by 12, you could use a layer set to quickly control things. I've created a layer set up in my upper menu. You can see it's a quarter inch scale. If I change that to the half inch scale, you can see that my text and my dimensions and other layers have changed like my wall layers have been turned off. And that's because in my layer set, I've changed those options. Let's take a look at how we've done this. The text I've placed is actually, if I select it, you look in the bottom of my screen, it says it's on a layer called text. Same thing for the dimensions. If you select that, that's on a layer called dimensions manual. Let's go into this particular layer set that we have, which is quarter inch scale, and let's look at those layers. Let me open up the layer display. On the text object, notice that down in the bottom here, I've created a text style that is quarter inch. And if you define and open that up, you can see that I've defined what the font is and what the character height is. Now the same thing if you come down to the dimensions manual layer that the dimensions are on, you can see the color of it. Also the same textile. It's on a quarter inch dimension textile. Let's close that. Let's switch our layer set to the half inch. So it changes the text size. Again, if you go back into the layers and we open that up to the dimensions manual, that's on the half inch textile. Again, this textile, if you hit edit, you'll see that it's got the font and the character height in this case is two inches. Cancel that. Let's go up to the text object. I'm just gonna hit T on the keyboard here. Come down to the text and again, it's on the half inch textile. So I am controlling the text and the dimensions manual through the layer set. And based on the layer set, you can have different text styles for those objects. And by changing your layer set, those text sizes will instantly change. Now notice when I go back to the half inch set, other layers come on and off. I've turned my wall layers off. My room layer has changed. Again, that's because it's representing the textile. Now when you send these out to the layout, let me do a file, send a layout here. And in this case, I will send this half inch out at a half inch scale. So let's go ahead and change that to half inch scale. Send it to the layout. You can see when I have it on the layout, again, it's representing what it looks like from our plan file, I put a text object in here that says the plan is at a half inch scale. And then I go back to the floor plan, change the layer set back to a quarter inch set, and then send a layout. In this case, I will change that to quarter inch. Go ahead and send that out to the same page. You can see that I now have that quarter inch on here with the respective text size for the text and then the dimension size. Now if I come over and close that floor plan and double click on the half inch scale, that will open up the plan to that exact layer set. I can do my editing. I can close it. I'll go back to the layout, double click on the quarter inch set, and that opens up the plan to the quarter inch layer set, and then I can do my editing from here. So a lot of times I will do my editing right through the layout just by double clicking on the viewport, whether that's maybe an electrical plan or an elevation, it will open it up to that layer set. One final point, if you've watched earlier annotation set videos, I've got some annotation sets up here and I actually built a quarter inch annotation set and a half inch annotation set. And I can make the same change right here. Through your defaults in annotation sets, you can further define how you want these attributes to behave. So here's my half inch scale. See that my dimensions are at half inch scale down here. So your annotation sets are controlling CAD dimensions, rich text, and several other items. And then also down here in the layer set, it will control which layer set that would change to. Sometimes I'll use the active layer set because I don't want it to change the layer set. But in this case, when I toggle between the quarter inch annotations, again, that layer set is being changed to the quarter inch set. All of my settings up here are in quarter inch. So by changing the annotations, set, it will also change the layer set. Now suppose that I left that as my active. Let's go back into the annotation sets. Let's just change the layer set for both of those to say active. So I'll make that change for the half and I'll also make it change for the quarter. So it'll be using the active. Now when I change my, let's go back and make sure that's set. If I just change the layer set now to quarter inch, notice that it did not change my annotation set and vice versa. If I change this back and I update it, 
it's not changing my layer set. That's the difference when you're setting your annotation sets up. If you want it to change the layer set, you come down here, make that setting, and then it will go ahead and update it every time you change it. Sometimes I'll use that, sometimes I won't. You'll find that there may be um, times that it's appropriate and you like it, other times you may not like it. So in this video I used two different layer sets, a quarter inch and a half inch, to control my dimension size and my text size and color simply by coming in here making the two layer sets of quarter inch and half inch and making the change and then sending it out to your layout sheet you can then change and double click on that and it will open up your plan file to the exact text size and sometimes you may be using half inch scale for a 18 inch by 12 inch layout or a larger scale for your 36 by 24 inch you can control that through your layer sets. So take advantage of using layer sets to be productive in the way you manage and control your construction drawings and have a great day.